What's going on everybody? 915 Mang here doing an update for you on the 25 gallon Innovative Marine Lagoon tank. So the first thing you'll notice is I pretty much turned this into a frag tank. Um, I took out the rock that I had in here. I had some Pukani rock in here. I ended up taking it out because I wanted to make some more room for some frags. This frag rack that I made on the bottom was actually from the frag tank that I had underneath this tank. So I had a total of two tanks on this one stand. I wasn't really happy with the way that it was going. Um, I had a little bit of frags on the bottom and I just decided I'm just gonna combine everything and uh, put it in this one tank. And I even thought about breaking down the lagoon all in one system, but uh, I really like this lagoon. Um, I wish it was a little bit bigger, like maybe the 50 gallon would be like an awesome frag tank. But as you can see, uh, the only frag type of frags that I really have in here are zoanthids and pallies. And for me, this is what I like. I like having a frag tank. I like having frags. I like cutting them up. I like gluing them. And as you can see, I am a coral hoarder. Now, the frags on this rack particularly, um, they're growing out. Uh, the other ones I have, you know, multiples of. But that one that I just showed you, they're growing out. And, you know, I'm going to start moving some of these back into my 150. In fact, I took out a lot of the zoanthids and pallies from the 150. And I threw them all in the 24 24 gallon 25 gallon uh, lagoon I did it because my RAS in the 150 just kept flipping Zoas I just kept losing them um, and it's a lot easier for me to keep track of the nice stuff in this frag tank as you can see I don't have any fish in here at all um, I am thinking about adding a six line RAS and possibly Probably that'd be like the only fish. Uh, I think the rats would be happy because you know I did I did end up keeping all the sand in this tank, and uh, I didn't really want to disturb it. Uh, I thought I figured sand is beneficial for my frag tank, and um, I really don't have you no know, crazy flow. When I do kick it up, it doesn't fly all over the place, and uh, I really don't have any SPS. I do have uh, Monty Pora in here, Superman Monty. And it's colored up really, really good under this Radeon XR15 uh, LED. But like I said, the other tank below it, I actually thought about just setting that tank up uh, because I'd probably be able to fit more frags, but I really like this system. The uh, acrylic tank that I had custom made, um, I'm not going to get rid of it. I'm still going to keep it because I... You know, knowing me, I'll probably set it up at a later later date if I run out of room. But right now, I'm doing okay with room. I do want to add some additional frag racks, like on the back side of this tank. And uh, then just start growing out some of that good stuff. Uh, eventually, trade them in my area, sell them in my area, or whatever. But um, I do like this frag tank. I do. Uh, this is like the perfect aquascape if you can get away with it and uh, I'm definitely doing that on this tank but I don't know let me know what you guys think um, I know probably I could have taken out the sand but to be honest with you if I would have took the sand out it would have just been sitting in my garage and uh, it being inside of the uh, lagoon uh, is probably better off anyways but everything is looking pretty good as you can see um, I am thinking about adding this is at a later date okay an xr15 an additional one because i really am happy with this light uh, at one time i thought about you know swapping this light adding these lights onto my 150 but i just can't justify it because my reef reader photon is uh doing really really good on that tank but for my lagoon uh, this is like way overpower and but I do think I will add a second light at a later date as soon as I'm done um, paying off my aquatic life uh, t5 fixture that I got 
But look at the views, guys. Tell me that if this is not the perfect escape for you. Tons of corals. And uh, that's just how I roll with this tank. I love Zoas. I love the corals. And who knows? Maybe eventually one day I'll have like a tank full of uh, SPS. And, uh, and that would be a totally different story right there. But I just think it's funny that uh, I'm always changing tanks. Uh, my wife probably doesn't think it's funny, but if you look back in my video archive, uh, you'll see that I got a custom acrylic tank made, then I broke it down, then I got the lagoon, then I broke it, then I have this set up, set up the acrylic again, broke it down. And uh, the light that I was using for the lagoon, for the acrylic tank, was a Reef Breeders uh, 24 inch. And I thought about posting that and selling it. It's a $400 light. And I thought about selling it, but then, you know, I came up with the idea maybe, maybe I might set up a 20 gallon long and uh, that light would kick butt on there. But who knows if you're local in the area, interested and not a low baller uh, and you can use it, hey, maybe I'll go ahead and uh, sell it to you for a good price. Um, not not cheap but for a good price you know $400 light but yeah it's been forever since I done an update on this tank you know I just wasn't happy I had a lot of other things going on with the main display and I'm finally giving you guys an update so I hope you guys like what you guys see so far My spin streams are doing good I think it's pretty funny because the snails will get on there and they'll be spinning around in a circle of motion uh, hanging on to the spin stream but anyways what are you guys doing today who's cooking what where's the barbecue at uh, invite me over to your place and i'll go get some grub and look at your fish tanks anyways guys hope you guys are doing good thanks again swing by let me know what you guys think about the uh just basic frag tank with lots of frags in it uh, let me know in the comments below you guys have a good one take care Go outside and guys, go grill.